Welcome. Hello, my friends. It is officially harvest season. And what does that mean? It means picking up walnuts from underneath of trees to carry them home and enjoy. It means little black cats are coming out to play, but most of all, it means enjoying these vegan pumpkin burgers. Perfect for this season. Stay tuned if you want to see how to make them. A quick thank you to all my PayPal and Cash App contributors for making my videos possible. Hey guys, do you like my leaf halo? And yes, I took the decoration off the shelf, the garland, and I wrapped it around my head and that's what I'm wearing. But you know, I kind of like it. I'm going to keep it on for the whole video. Well, I'm more of an autumn harvest kind of gal than a Halloween kind of gal. You know, it's the same time of year, but um, I used to be goth, which was kind of scary. I was one of those little goth teenagers, kind of moody and everything like that. And uh, I much more appreciate the life-giving aspects of autumn now, such as the colors of the leaves and the walnuts and the pumpkins. So I hope you like that too, because we are using pumpkin for this video. We're going to integrate pumpkin into these burgers. All right, so why don't we start with our main ingredients, okay? So right here I have one cup of densely packed mashed black beans. So when I say one cup, I don't mean start with one cup of full beans. You want the final product to be one cup of densely packed mashed black beans. These are from dry, you can use canned, whatever you like, there's no salt in these either. So I'm going to dunk that all into the bowl right there and just kind of break that up a little bit. Add the pumpkin. I've got half a cup of pureed unsweetened canned pumpkin. So not pumpkin pie mix, obviously. So for those of you who think pumpkin burgers are a little odd, let me just remind you that pumpkin is really not sweet. It's very neutral. So you can do a lot of things with it. Most people tend to make, um, you know, like pies and stuff with it, but you don't have to. Now, sometimes I'll be, I'll be, uh, honest with you, you know what I do? I'll eat pumpkin right out of the can, the pumpkin puree. Um, it's just, I don't know, there's just something about it I really like. It's very mild tasting. And for this, this recipe, what it's really good for is, um, you know how people use eggs in burgers because it's like, it combines, it holds everything together. That's kind of what the pumpkin in here is used for. All right, so we'll, we're gonna get into our next ingredient. We've got a half a cup of chopped green onion. This green onion is still growing on my balcony. I haven't picked some in a while. So that's going into the bowl. For the next ingredient, I have a quarter cup of sesame seeds because you don't need a food processor for this recipe. One thing that I don't like about a lot of uh, homemade like vegan recipes is you need a food processor, you need a blender, you need to, you know, use machinery and I don't really like, I like using my hands. I like using my hands. Just mix this up a little bit. I'll tell you one thing guys, my ancestors were cave dwellers, okay? And what did cave dwellers do? Our men were busy making tools for us to use. Manual tools, right? The spoon is not a very good uh, example of that, but you know what I mean. Like all kinds of things like, you know, like citrus, things that break down, uh, fruits and vegetables, different kinds of tools for the kitchen and stuff like that. And I'm still using basic things, so maybe I'm, I'm a cave dweller right now. <laughs> OK, 
okay, if you can see, this um, mixture is a little bit dense. You kind of want it a little bit dense, okay? Because you want the burgers to be able to hold together. I have two tablespoons of Italian style breadcrumbs. Get that in there. And I have a half a cup of quick oats. Combine this as we go along. Pretty soon we'll be using our hands in here. That's the ultimate kitchen tool, your hands. I have an eighth of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And I also have an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. And I have a quarter cup of barbecue sauce, your favorite barbecue sauce. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Now I'm going to work on mixing all of these ingredients together very well for that final combining before making them into patties. Now, if you didn't hear me say this earlier, or the sesame seeds, if sesame seeds are too expensive for you, or poppy seeds are too expensive for you, you can just go ahead and use finely chopped walnuts, finely chopped almonds, anything like that, any, any, like, any taste you really like. But I will say I think poppy seeds taste good in, in this, and sesame seeds do as well. Kind of almost reminds me of a harvest. <laughs> Okay, I have one mound here and I'm going to break this up into four to make four burgers and we're going to stick it in the oven on a cookie sheet and in the meantime, your kitchen's going to get nice and toasty like it should be for the fall. All right, I have a small cookie sheet here that I topped with aluminum foil. Now, for those of you who use aluminum foil sometimes in your cooking, uh, always make sure to have the shiny side facing the food, whether it's under the food or tented over the food, like when you're making a roast or something, because the shiny side helps uh, the cooking, I would say, like speed up a little bit and helps maintain the heat, whereas the dull side doesn't really do that so much. Now, you're using an oven with a consistent temperature anyway, so technically it's not really supposed to make much of a difference, but um, it does a little bit. All right, so let's get some cooking spray here. Now, you know what I noticed? They took the aerosol out of this uh, cooking spray, so you don't get as many uses out of it, but um, it's supposed to be good for the environment. So let's, let's get this on here. By getting in my camera. <laughs> okay. Now, let's break down this big daddy into four babies and get them on the pan. I'm going to use my trusty bench scraper for this to make four even pieces as much as I can. down the middle once and down the middle crossways one time and there we go I love this tool so the one problem with making the homemade burgers that a lot of people run into is that we end up making them too thin sometimes for people who have like big appetites like my husband he doesn't want a skinny little burger he, he wants it thick so this is more his thickness you can actually probably get maybe six burgers out of this if you make them thinner 
but I'm going to try to make them a decent thickness. I think this is the perfect size and thickness and it's really round. I usually don't I'm not usually not successful in getting really that round, but I think I did really good this time. So, see, the quiet housewife is always learning, always. All right, so let's get this on the cookie sheet. Do three more. Ready for the oven. Now, one quick tip before I put this in the oven. When you're getting these on your cookie sheet, I wouldn't press them down onto the paper too much. Like if you're trying to make them big or anything, do that before you put it on the foil or the pan because just in case that cooking spray uh, wears off or any butter or anything you put underneath of there wears off, if, you're, if you don't press it into the pan, it's much less likely to stick if that ever happens with you, okay? Just a quick tip, all right? All right, let's get this into the oven. Enough chatter, right? <laughs> the oven for 20 minutes. Okay guys, I am taking these burgers out of the oven at the 20 minute mark and I'm going to be using my owl oven mitt. I, I have a real big thing for owls, especially the great gray owl and sometimes I, I like to buy myself some things with owls all over it so I've had this for a little while though. Um, yeah, I'm kind of chatty today. Sometimes I'm shy, sometimes I'm a little chatty, so, you know, today I'm talkative. All right. A little hot, of course. Okay. Yeah, these look perfect. These look perfect. I hope there's no glare in the screen here, but you can see these here, they're a little bit crispy on top. They will have a little slight crunch to them. I like it when my burgers are like that. And if you press down, you can feel the softness on the inside. Now, I know I said in the title that this is a vegan burger, and it is, but I'm going to eat the whole thing as vegan. I'm not going to put any cheese or mayonnaise or anything on it, because normally I like to have cheese or mayonnaise or meat in my burgers. So what, I'm gonna eat this burger today. I have um, a nice 100% whole wheat bun. I have a piece of lettuce and I'm going to have it also with some ketchup and pickles. So I'm all vegan for this today. So for my friends that um, love animals so dearly that they won't dare touch them, this video is animal furry, okay? All right, so I'm gonna open my bun here, get a little bit of ketchup. You know what I don't like about the ketchup? Like I always have to mix it because there's a water. And we get this giant ketchup bottle, so I'm gonna be really, really careful what I'm pouring. Let's hope I can pour this ketchup on the bread without messing it up. Can I do it? Can I do it? I'm going to put it on both sides. Both sides. Put a little bit of moisture on the burger. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put my lettuce on top right there. And then put the burger on top of the lettuce. That's what I do. I always put the lettuce on the bottom, the burger on top. And then, if I'm having tomato, I put the tomato on top of the burger. Okay. Let's see. Okay. This is kind of it's a little hot. So let's lift the burger off, one of these burgers, and place it on the bun. I think I'm going to go for one of the smaller ones. I'm going to leave one of the bigger ones to my husband. Okay. See, so that came clean off of the foil. There's no, um, you know, no remnants, no sticking pieces or anything. Okay, here we go. 
Ah, oh, wonderful. Let me get some pickles on there. I am a huge pickle fan, olive fan. I know I said that in one of my last videos. Oh my goodness, they're so good. It's too bad they're high in sodium, but quite good. Okay, put that right on top. So I got two pickles. I'm going to put one more pickle slice on there. get some lipstick on my hamburger bun but that's the way it goes I was trying I was trying to look look cute for my <laughs> for my video so here we go ready for a bite ready for a bite everyone here we go shut the camera off and eat this whole thing right now. <laughs> oh, this is so good. I love it. Mm. Got a little bit of crunch in there from those seeds. You got the smoothness of the pumpkin. You got some barbecue flavor. Taste-wise, texture-wise, this is really good. And you know, the ingredients are not too expensive. The most expensive part of it is the sesame seeds, okay? Now, I got the whole jar of sesame seeds from Walmart. I'll show you the jar real quickly. This was about a year ago. I got a whole jar of sesame seeds from Walmart, and they're actually organic. These were $2.98. All right, if I go to a supermarket, uh, this would probably be about five dollars close to five dollars or so you could always put like something cheaper in there the nuts you're more likely to buy by the pound um, like I said the walnuts almonds poppy seeds would be a little more expensive too along the lines of the sesame seeds but really whatever works for your taste buds you can experiment but the, the most important thing with the vegan burgers is to have the moisture balance correct so that your burger is not falling apart. All right, and then it's also, you don't, you don't want it like so wet that it, you don't really have um, the right texture for it when you wanna put it on your bun and eat it like a burger. Okay, well, I'm gonna finish this, guys. Hey, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I have PayPal and Cash App if you'd um, like to support me with donations. And uh, as, as always, please just click on my playlist here if you'd like to watch more videos of this kind. This is going to be in both the holiday playlist and the cooking playlist, okay? So happy Halloween, happy harvest to all of you.